everyone! So what I have for you tonight is a single string G scale exercise that I recommend to everyone who's trying to learn to play the banjo. It's really helpful for a couple different reasons. Of course, it's great to know the scales, um, but I also love this exercise because it gets you really comfortable using your pinky of the left hand, which is crucial. You've got to learn to do that at some point. Um, so this will really help with that. It'll also help get you comfortable using each of your three fingers on the right hand on each string of the banjo. So you're going to practice using your middle finger all the way down on the fourth string and thumb all the way up on first, and that's a great skill to have as well. Um, and the last reason that I like to recommend it is because it helps you sync up your right and left hand really well because you're going to know it. Um, you know, you kind of you can't, can't ignore it if you're not synced up. So this will really help you be more aware of whether or not your right hand and left hands are synced. Here's the scale for you. It sounds like this. So that's just the single note scale. We'll just go through that real quickly and then I'll show you a few different ways you can do that that will help with the um, technical um, skills I mentioned earlier. So to start, you're going to have on the left hand, you're going to have a finger in charge of each fret with your pinky being in charge of the seventh fret. So anytime you play seventh fret of any string, that will be with your pinky, ring on sixth, middle on fifth, index on fourth. So anytime any of those strings is fretted there, you should use the finger that is responsible for that fret. So um, we're going to start here at the fifth fret fourth string, and you're going to pick that with your thumb. And then from that point on, for just the straight ahead, one note, um, single note G scale, you're going to alternate thumb to index, thumb to index, until you get to the, fit, the first string, and that'll be with your middle finger. So start with your thumb, fifth fret fourth string, seventh fret fourth string, and of course you're switching to index at that point, fourth fret third string, fifth fret third string, seventh fret third string, fifth fret second string, seventh fret second string, and then fifth fret first, and that's when you move to using your middle finger of the right hand. Again, I'll just play that slowly for you. Once you get really comfortable just playing straight through the scale like that, um, that'll take some time, that's totally okay, spend a couple weeks, couple months, whatever it takes to get comfortable with that. And then once you get there, try switching it up and doing um, picking um, twice per note. So I'm going to do thumb index on each note of that scale like this. So just at that very last one, the fifth fret first string, I'll play thumb to middle, otherwise that was just thumb and index. Um, so you can get comfortable with that, and then when you're comfortable with that, you'll switch to do three notes per, three picks per note, like this. As I'm doing that one, that one's the trickiest one because you've got to use your middle finger all the way down on fourth and your thumb all the way up on first, um, which you've got to change your right hand position slightly to make up for the angle. So, you know, you're going to kind of shift your, your whole arm like that so that you're still coming at the string from a nice flat angle. So I'll play that again and I'll just kind of exaggerate the motion so you can see what I'm talking about and you can work on that um, yourself. I should also mention that that is a movable scale, so, you know, we use that pattern for a single string G scale. If you know that that is based around um, an F-shaped vamp chord, so this is our F-shaped G chord, the scale for that chord, so for that key, the G, is going to be 
where the ring finger is fretted on the fourth string. That's the first note of the scale. So. So if you want to try the scales in different um, keys, just move that F shape to different chords. So I'll take that, move it up to C, and I know that the scale starts where the ring finger is fretted. D, F, and so forth and so on. So this is what I call just a tedious exercise, but it's totally worth it. Learning that scale really changed my playing in a big way um, when I finally put the time in to work on things like that that I didn't think were super fun. It's very much worth your time. It'll really loosen up both your right and left hand, get you comfortable with pinky, um, and improve the, the quality and sound of each note that you're playing. So have fun with that one. Mm -hmm.